T-minus 30 seconds and counting, and we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, pushing our goals skyward using our station in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. Roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavor. Endeavor into the roll, placing the shuttle in a heads-down, wings-level position, the proper azimuth for the eight-and-a-half-minute ride to orbit. Thirty seconds into the flight, Endeavor's three liquid-fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Endeavor already three miles downrange, four and a half miles in altitude, losing weight as it heads uphill. Endeavor Houston, go at throttle up. Endeavor copies, go at throttle up. The throttle up call from Capcom Jim Kelly, acknowledged by Commander Dom Gorey aboard Endeavor. Gorey joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Dan Tawney, and mission specialist Linda Godwin. The Expedition 4 crew, Russian Commander Yuri Anufrienko, and American flight engineers Dan Bursch and Carl Wall seated down on the mid-deck. Endeavor now 10 miles downrange, 14 miles in altitude, traveling at about 2,500 miles per hour. Everything looking very good. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, all of Endeavor's systems in excellent shape. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer reports good solid rocket booster separation, 33 miles downrange, 31 miles in altitude. Guidance now converging. Endeavor's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to 